Well, I met Al Gray because uh, his son, Michael Gray, was a trombone player in one of the other bands, local bands in, um, in Germantown, Mount Airy area. They had a band called uh, Sapphire. And um, he, Mike was a trombone player there, and he went to school with Kevin at Germantown High School. And Al Gray was on the road with Count Basie band a lot, so uh, he knew us because he, you know, we'd come home, he meet us and stuff like that. And you guess he heard us play sometimes, but he was the first person to, he sat us down and, and put up, set up some music stands and brought out some, like, uh, arrangements and stuff. Big band. He said, y'all need to learn the standards. And I had no idea what a standard was. And, and we would sit down and read the music and, you know, so he was kind of mentoring in that in that regard. And he got me to do some gigs with him and Jimmy Jimmy Forrest when they were playing around town. And um, he had another recording that that we played on. And he gave me one of his trombones. So he, he was, I guess he saw some promise in me and he was very encouraging for sure. And um, <clears throat> uh, while I was still in school, or maybe graduating from school from, from University Arts, Slide Hampton came to town to play. He had just moved back from Paris. He was there for like 10 years, and there was an album that Dexter Gordon had called Sophisticated Giants, and Slide did the arrangements for it. And it was playing on WRTI and, and WXPN here in town. And um, Slide was playing at a place thing called Stars, maybe on Bainbridge Street, if I'm correct. And um, and we went I went there to see him. And uh, Al Gray was also there to see him. And on the intermission, Al introduced me to Slide. And Slide asked me if I had my horn with me. And I said yes. And I sat in on a couple of songs. And at the end of the night, he asked me to come to New York and join his World of Trombones band that he had, a band with nine trombones. And um, and Slide became a major mentor for me. He, uh, when I went up there, he would let, let me I stayed at his place, and he, you know, gave me keys to his apartment, <laughs> and just took me under his wing. And because uh, he saw a promise in me too, and then, I, I mean, I was a very serious about playing music, obviously. And and this was New York. So they're inviting me to come up, to, he was inviting me to come up to New York and I got to play and met all these other trombonists who are still very good friends of mine, Steve Ture, Douglas Proviance, who's a bass trombone player. And, um, and through Slide, I met so many other uh, professional musicians, Woody Shaw and all these people. I would just follow Slide around and we'd go to all the different clubs. And there were a lot of them back then and in New York and I was, I'm with him. So I just get in, get in all the places free and I just hang out with Slide and meet everybody and then I got to play and people got to hear me play. So it was, it was, you know, like I said, everything was, was just falling in place and it was a really, really, really wonderful time. And I um, got a National Endowment Grant, National Endowment of the Arts Grant, just a study grant, just to um, study with Slide. And, um, he wouldn't take any money from me. So I used that money to uh, move to New York. Kevin and I moved to New York. Actually, the, the day the Phillies won the World Series in 1980. Was, I think uh, I was listening to it on the radio when I was driving my stuff up to New York. And um, so it was, uh, you know, it's, and so slides that done so much for me and helped me out and introduced me to the New York scene and musicians there and, and you know, I have a deep sense of gratitude to him to this day for all he did for me.